Using the OXO Brew 8-Cup Coffee Maker has been a solid experience. Whether I'm brewing a full carafe or just a single cup, the coffee consistently tastes great. I think the way it controls the water temperature and brewing time helps with that. What I like is the single-serve feature. This small accessory makes sure the coffee still tastes good, even when it's just one cup. The way the showerhead spreads water makes a big difference, so nothing is missed in terms of flavor extraction. The carafe keeps my coffee warm for quite a while, which means no need to reheat. Another nice thing is how compact it is. It fits perfectly under my cabinets, saving space. The adjustable well cover is handy too, making it easy to switch between small mugs and taller travel mugs. And when it comes to cleaning, the cleaning mode is really simple to use. This coffee maker is super easy to use, and it makes great coffee, whether it's a full pot or just one cup. It's been a reliable addition to my kitchen. I've been using the Ninja Dual Brew Pro for a bit now, and honestly, it's become part of my everyday routine. It makes coffee from both grounds and pods, which is super convenient. I love that I can brew just a single cup if I want or make a whole carafe when I need more. Plus, it has different settings, so I can do hot coffee, iced coffee, or even brew something stronger when I feel like it. It brews pods fast, faster than any machine I've had before, which is great when I'm in a rush. The hot water feature is really handy, too. I use it for tea, oatmeal, and stuff like that, and I don't have to worry about any coffee taste mixing in. There's also a frother that folds away when I'm not using it, and it's perfect for making lattes or frothing milk for my coffee. And cleaning it is pretty easy, which is always a plus. I like the water tank. It's big enough and I can move it around depending on how much counter space I have. It's also easy to take out and refill, so that's another thing that makes life a little easier. Everything feels solid and well-built, and keeping it clean doesn't take much effort. Overall, the Ninja Dual Brew Pro is great for making all kinds of coffee. It's fast, flexible, and fits right into my daily routine without any hassle. I've been using the Keurig K Elite for a bit now, and it's made my mornings easier. It's elementary to pick a cup size, and the large water tank means I don't have to refill it every time I want coffee, which is nice when I'm in a hurry. I like that it has a strong brew button because I prefer stronger coffee, which makes a difference. The iced coffee option is convenient, too. Instead of brewing hot coffee and trying to cool it down, this does it right over ice, and it still tastes good. The hot water feature is a useful bonus. I've used it for quick things like oatmeal or soup, and it heats up fast. It also reminds me when I need to clean it, which keeps the coffee tasting good. Overall, the K Elite is a good fit for my kitchen. It's easy to use, has plenty of options for different drinks, and saves me time, which I appreciate. I've been using the Technivore Makamaster KBG V Select, and it's been a solid coffee maker. Brewing a full or half pot is really simple, which I like because I don't always need a lot. The coffee brews quickly, and the water gets hot enough to bring out a lot of flavor from the grounds. One feature I appreciate is how it stops dripping when you pull the carafe out, so you don't have to deal with a mess. The coffee itself tastes great, and it seems to extract the full flavor of the beans. The hot plate also keeps the coffee warm without making it taste burnt. I like that it shuts off automatically after a while, so I don't have to worry about it if I forget. The machine feels sturdy and well-made, and it's designed to last, which is a plus for me. Overall, it's been a good experience. It's easy to use and reliable, and the coffee turns out nice every time. The Breville Barista Express has been a great addition to my kitchen. It's easy to use and lets me make espresso from fresh coffee beans in under a minute. I like that the grinder is built in, so I can grind the beans and brew right away. The grinder gives just the right amount of coffee for each shot, which makes the process simple. The machine handles the water pressure well, starting slow and building up to get all the flavors out of the coffee. It makes a nice, balanced shot of espresso without tasting bitter or too strong. The temperature control is good too, keeping the water just right for brewing. The steam wand works well for frothing milk. It's strong enough to make smooth, foamy milk for lattes and cappuccinos, which is fun to do at home. The grind size is easy to adjust, 
so I can switch it up depending on the type of beans I'm using. The Breville Barista Express is a reliable espresso machine. It's easy to figure out, works well, and has everything I need to make a good cup of coffee at home.